from the University of Washington in Seattle, Upon Reflection, with Al Pay. Our guest is Akio Morita, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Sony Corporation. In the book written about your life, you talk about cooperation in the workplace. What does that mean, particularly with respect to Sony Corporation? You, you know, that uh, the way a running company in Japan is quite different from uh, this country. Give us a specific example. After the war, occupation forces came in, GHQ, General MacArthur changed many, many Japanese traditions. And that time, they uh, tried to, to educate or promote democracy among Japanese. Uh, they, they changed labor law under that new law and the new uh, translation, interpretation of that law. Mm -hmm. Practically, Japanese management lost the right to lay off the people or fire the people. So once our company hire somebody, we have to carry him for his whole working life. So the implication is you must hire very carefully. Yes, very carefully. So, you know, under such a circumstances to run business organization is very difficult. One time, seeing American company layoffing people, firing people. I thought Japanese company is not business organization. Japanese company looks like a social welfare organization. But under these circumstances, Japanese management created new concept. That means all the member of the company we call the family member, feel this is an organization in which everybody share same fate. But let's talk about that for a moment. If something was going on in Sony Corporation that you didn't like, you could stop it. Couldn't we call you a benevolent dictator? Benevolent, but yet a dictator? No, 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 no. So, we, we, I don't run in such a way because as I said, I said, you know, we always believe this business organization is, you know, faith sharing body. And our people will stay with us long years. So I have a responsibility to make our company alive many, many years yes. for our successor, for younger generation. So, in Japan, Japanese company, younger generation always looking for his own company 20 years ahead, 30 years ahead. Long-term look. Long-term look. So that is the way Japanese company is running. So all the members of the company feel just like a family. So in that case, we cannot be dictator. But Nobody can be dictator. But how do you pass on your view of the future? How do you go from your mind to everybody else's mind so that everybody agrees with your view of the future? That's why um, I have a real executive committee, consists of chairman, president, and uh, two executive VP, and uh, two senior VP. These six people always, once a week, we get together. We explore all that uh, project extensively, and also we encourage that every participant of that meeting can talk freely as a just like a top management of that, our company. Do you encourage them to talk frankly, openly? Frankly, openly. So we have a real, so that's why once a month we have such a meeting in the evening so that we can talk about our longer range plan because every week the meeting we must decide you know immediately project or plan but longer range plan we should have uh, some time 
decide this exit meeting. So usually we have a meeting once a month. In the evening, it starts at 6, and sometime last midnight. Okay. Earlier you mentioned you must be very careful in choosing the right employees. Yes. How do you do that? How do you choose the right employees in Japan? Of course, you know, in Japan, uh, school in in the March, they graduate and they join the company April 1st. But they usually in the fall, we receive applicants and we have personal department and the meet, interview, and, uh, and also we have an exam. Mm -hmm. So technically or general idea, general business administration. We have um, written test mm -hmm. and interview. This is a Sony test? Yes. What's more important to you, the, the written test or the oral interview? Interview is more important. And what do you look for in the interview? Because a businessman, naturally, a people, newcomer should be bright. And also, also react quickly. And also, he should have a good understanding of what is a business. And because once he join us, he will be a member for a long time. So that's why on April 1st, we have a ceremony to welcome our new employees. And I always speak to them. That time, I always tell them, this is not army. We did not draft you. You decided to come to Sony. Of course, you we selected, but your under your choice, you join Sony. But but if you join the Sony, usually you will spend twenty or thirty years with us, and that next twenty years will be the most brightest time of your life which you can have only once. You're inspirational. Yeah. So that's why I said, my wish is, when you retire from our company, you will not have any regret. Because this is the only time you, have, you can have. So that's why next three months, we always say the test period. But that test peri period is not for us. That test period is for you, each of you. Okay. You should decide whether Sony is the right place you spend your life. You go do business in France, you go do business in the United States. How does that affect your ability to choose employees the Japanese way? Different culture. Of course, different culture. But basic concept, if we treat any personnel in the company as a human. I think as a human, I th we have the same understanding. So naturally, quality or ability, we, will, we interview, you know, the same concept. And hopefully in our factory, we always wish once they join us, our company, they will stay with us a long time. Let's change the subject just a bit. What you've been talking about seems like common sense, elegant common sense, but common sense. Why haven't the American companies adopted these methods? I, I'd like to ask you. <laughs> I'd like to ask you. But, but I think American, under the American custom, uh, all management are always worrying about bottom line of their quarterly report. And if that the quarterly report bottom line is bad, he might be criticized. He might be he might lose his job because once that uh, the result is bad, yeah, shareholders sell the stock, stock price go down, and then this management will be criticized, and he might lose the, the job. I can understand that argument for one year, two years, but Japanese have been beating Americans for 10 years. You know many American managers. Don't they ever learn? 
I think American management know their problem, but the, as a fact of life, they have to pay great attention of bottom line of the quarterly report. So the problem in your mind is that the American investor has a short run point of view. Yeah. And also, maybe your shareholder is so-called institutional investor. And this fund manager naturally have to make a money in the short range. So if that uh, figure is bad, they move a bunch of stock. So that is a danger for the American management. So I have a great uh, real sympathy to the American management. Even he likes to look at this company long range. Of course, among Japan, American industries, there are many leading companies you know, running business from wrong range viewpoint. We're the best of the American companies. For example, IBM. Because I used to be the old board of IBM World Trade many years ago. So I know how IBM run the business. You know, IBM, people stay in the same company long, long time. Top management have a great long experience in that company. and they always look for the long future to invest his money and you know such a company can establish strong power and nobody can compete against this company. You look at the decline of American electronics uh, how do you feel about this? Does that make you feel good because you've won a victory? No, no, we need competitors and we need strong America because United States is a center or a key of a free economic world, whole free economic world. So I, we need strong America and also strong industry. And also we always like to have a strong competitor because competition makes us or both sides work harder. So for us, for you, we need you. Both of us need strong American, American industry. Things are beginning to change in Japan. Will Korea and the other tigers do the same thing to Japan that Japan has done to the United States? Of course, Korean uh, has been learning Japan, Japanese way. Taking Japanese technology. Yes, and they are working very hard and they are they gradually becoming a strong competitor for us. But I have a confidence that we, we have our own technology and we will develop our technology and the technology is no limit. So with our technology, with high sophisticated technology, I think we can compete them. And that competition make us work harder. Will Japan and the other Asian countries form their own trading bloc? Does the future belong to the European common market and an Asian common market? We will not form such an economic bloc. I think that the recent U.S.-Canada trade agreement, free trade agreement, I can understand because Canada and the U.S. economy is so intertwined. And also I can understand Europe like to have you know, big trade economic zone because now transportation is so, so good and also each technology, each country's technology is so interrelated. But on the other hand, sometimes I have a curiosity. In few centuries ago, European came to Japan or Asia, go around, you know, the Africa, long way, and their European presence in Asia just a few decades ago or several decades ago, very high. You know, they were European eye occupied mm -hmm. Asia. Now 
you know, they are trying to, to concentrate European territory. I have a little bit uh, doubt whether it's good for them or good, good for all of us. I think, of course, a big European economic territory is maybe good for them, maybe good for us, because already we have a factory in Europe, and by 1992, we become a European manufacturer. You were raised to appreciate Western culture and Eastern culture. Would you say that the average Japanese shares your opinions? My thought or my understanding is not that typical as a Japanese, because uh, for the last uh, three decades, I spent a lot of time outside Japan, and we build up the business all over the world internationally. So mm, I know not all Japanese will think that way. But as you know, now Japanese young students are studying abroad, very large number. And these people become uh, quite international. Even my, my uh, family case, our son, two sons, went to boarding school in UK, and my second boy graduated Georgetown University, and uh, my, our daughter also went to Europe, and also in this country to study. And these people can uh, talk friends all over the world, just freely, uh, no, no barrier among them. A new type of person. Yes, so these people, become a real international. Is it ever difficult in your mind to separate the Western side from the Eastern side? Uh, maybe I'm too much Westernized. Sometimes I, might, I have a problem with the Japanese people. Because whenever I talk uh, to our friend in Japan, I might express myself Western way, too frankly. In your experience with the West, what is the most attractive part of the Western culture to you? Western people talk freely among, between friends. You know, that's the big difference from Japanese tradition and the Western tradition. Japanese tradition, maybe that's the Oriental tradition, friends should not have a difference of opinion. So even we find some disagreement with my friend, if he has been good friend of mine long time, I should not argue with him. You know, maybe some compromise. But you know, Western way, because we are close, we can argue. And because of, uh, we are good friends, we can express difference of opinion. And such a difference will not hurt our friendship. You know, that's a good point. I, we, I like to introduce that custom to, to Japanese people. That's, you know, because of such an old oriental tradition, when Japanese people meet Westerner, even Japanese disagree with his friend's opinion, he hesitate to, to raise a difference. So then Western people think Japanese side understand fully or agree fully. But they don't. But they don't. Don't you find it ironic that for many Westerners, they like the old Japan, the, the beautiful gardens, the tea ceremony, where in fact the new Japan is much different than that. Old Kyoto is much different than new Tokyo. It's funny. Japanese people have an ability to, to carry on two different uh, cultures at the same time. So still we keep old tradition while we are running new technology. You know, that's a 
That is the advantage of Japanese system. Japan is the only country where two cultures, two different civilizations mix up and also same time it's going on. But the old culture in Japan was one of serenity and the new culture is noise, electronic noise. You can't picture a Shinto priest meditating with a Walkman in his ear. Isn't that a contradiction? Isn't part of the old culture of Japan simply going away? Of course, gradually Japan is changing, but still, I think when I see J our friend in Japan, Japanese people have some ability to observe also or carry on old tradition, same time new, new technology. So I myself, you know, I was born in old family. My ancestor started sake brewing 300 years ago, and I'm a 15th generation of my family. And so that's why my family still, I myself, carry on old tradition, my family. Without the new technology, you would have been a sake master instead of a TV master. But at the same time, you know, I studied the physics. So, so such a two, two different uh, culture we can carry on. I want to change the subject once again, although it does relate to the young people we've talked about earlier. There have been some controversy about the rewriting of the history of World War II in Japan. Uh, and people in Korea have been upset, people in China have been upset. Is this something that we need to be concerned about? You know, in uh, the past three decades, in Japan, such an educational ethics or concept has changed many times. One time, all sort of went to the too much left side and uh, criticized the Japanese history and they tried to hide or they tried to twist too much. And now, Guraji coming back to teach truth to the Japanese youngster. I think our youngsters should know real truth and uh, true history. Of course, we made a mistake, and also you made a mistake. Anybody made a mistake. But we should know why we made a mistake. Why this such a, such a thing happened? That's why I, I, I think for both of us, emotion is very, very dangerous. I think when we talk about our mutual problem, we should not discuss or argue with the emotion. We should be more, more realistic and also more cool. But can politicians get elected in Japan and get elected in the United States without discussing Japanese-American relations emotionally? Isn't it a politician problem? Yes. I agree with you. I agree with you. Now, political system problem, you know, to, uh, as a polit for the politician, election is very important. And to get elected, you know, he should make his name more popular among the general public. So in such a case, some politicians use uh, te technique to make something too much exaggerate or sensational. You know, that we just, we are, both of us, facing real basic problem of this election system, a democratic system based upon election system. But what's the key to solving that problem? Is it for the people of both countries to travel and see what's going on in the other country? I think, you know, seeing is a believing. So that's why uh, I hope more people come to Japan and the more Japanese should come to visit this country. When you were young, you easily could have died in World War II. And now, 
a number of years later, here you are in the United States being an honored guest. Doesn't that strike you as ironic? Watching over your lifetime, the, the differences and the changes in relationships between the United States and Japan. When relation between two countries is bad, both countries are not happy. I think we should look back the past history. Uh, Japan and the U.S. is, you know, facing each other other side of the Pacific Ocean. We are real neighbor. So that sense, I think, our two nations should not be separated. And now we are number one, number two economic power. I think we, both sides should know how much we are interdependent each other. In your heart, that's the way you feel? Yes, yes. Because, uh, you know, since I came to this country 53, or before that, I knew your country, U.S., has uh, such a high technology. And even before the war, I used many, many American products. So I think our two nations cannot be separated. Akio Morita chairman and chief executive officer of the Sony Corporation, upon reflection.